Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's number one English fluency guide. It really is a pleasure to join you again today. I wanted to make a different kind of video, so I'm just sitting back and recording this because I wanted to talk about something that's very common that you really won't hear most teachers speaking about, and this is really understanding the psychology of listening and really thinking more about your brain and how we listen to things and why it can be difficult to understand people, especially natives, when they're speaking. So you already know, just from the language learning perspective, it can be difficult to understand native speakers because they speak too quickly or because they use a lot of maybe difficult words or expressions or their accents can be quite difficult to understand. But I wanted to talk about more the psychology here about helping you understand so you can understand people more effectively and you can really just feel more comfortable and confident in conversations. So really this is about improving your listening, but in a different way than just listening to more English. So there are really three basic problems here when people write me and say, I have trouble understanding native speakers, or maybe I often go blank in conversations, so people will be worrying about things and then they have trouble listening, so they just have a problem that happens. And so I wanted to talk about those kinds of things and why they happen, and then explain a little bit about what you can do to solve these problems if these are things that you struggle with as well, so you can become a better listener and have better conversations. So there are a couple of things here, really three main problems, and it's important to understand what your specific problem is if you have trouble listening. So the first one is actually being passively distracted, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, uh, but just being passively distracted just means Every day when we are listening to something or, you know, doing work or going to the gym or whatever, our minds begin to drift and we naturally begin thinking about other things and it, it almost feels like we are uh, like daydreaming or sleepwalking in a way. So you're doing something like driving. Maybe you've, maybe you've had this experience before when you're driving and then you realize, oh, you're driving, but because you had just been thinking about, you know, what you're cooking for dinner or something else and you've driven maybe a few miles on the road without even realizing it. So your body is naturally trying to drive and your uh, mind is getting lots of information in, but this is why, you know, people can fall asleep when they're driving or they get distracted very easily. And this happens to all of us. So this is the, uh, the being passively distracted by something. Again, it's just a natural thing that, um, you need to take time and I'll explain a little bit more about how to solve that problem or, uh, we never really can eliminate it completely, but how you can make that better so you can have, uh, maybe better just times in conversations when you're listening to people and you're being able to focus more. Uh, the second problem is being uh, actively distracted by your own worrying about things. So maybe you get into a conversation and you worry about being judged. What will the other person think about me if I make a mistake? Am I using the right grammar? Am I uh, making mistakes with my pronunciation? There are lots of people in the same way that Maybe before you give a speech or a presentation, you worry, we call this stage fright, and you worry about, you know, what they're going to think or what will happen or what if you make a mistake. So this is um, actively worrying, so you're actively distracting yourself from the conversation. And then the final problem is if you really just don't understand what people are saying. And you might understand what I'm saying, but maybe, again, for normal reasons, uh, as I explained earlier, that you're often having trouble understanding people because of their pronunciation or the words they use or anything else, uh, that's really a problem with the language. So the first step to better listening is thinking about which of these three things you're struggling with. Uh, if you have trouble listening, is it just because of the language or is it because you are actively distracting yourself or if you're just passively uh, distracted. And the quickest way to do that is to think about how you communicate with people in your native language. So if you're a really good listener, normally you don't actively, uh, you don't uh, actively distract yourself when you're speaking with someone and you're good about not being passively distracted. You're able to focus on a conversation and uh, it doesn't seem like your mind is wandering someplace else. Then probably the, the problem that you have is really just understanding more uh, native English speakers and practicing with that 
is the best way to do that. So again, learning with more native speech rather than things that are typically English lessons. And these are the maybe fake or scripted dialogues that you'll get uh, or practicing with much more formal vocabulary. So the thing that I focus on is conversational speech and giving you examples of native speech so that you practice uh, with that and that you get more experience with that. So reading, uh, excuse me, listening becomes a lot easier to do. So if you're first thinking about it in your native language, it makes it a lot easier easier to understand what your problem is. Now, for me, uh, I can understand Japanese quite well. There are many words that I don't know, but for everyday conversations, I usually don't have much of a problem. Uh, but I have a big problem with being passively distracted. Now, part of this is a good thing. My mind can wander and comes up with lots of good ideas or, you know, whatever about many things. But I'll often find I get distracted uh, in, you know, Japanese conversations or conversations in English. So I know this isn't a problem about the language, even though I should be learning more words and every day I'm learning a little bit more Japanese. But in general, when I'm speaking with someone, uh, like my mind can wander. So I have to remind myself to focus on that. A perfect example is when I had a scratch in my ear uh, maybe a week ago. I went to the doctor, and while I was sitting at the, the doctor's office, and this is in Japan here near my home, and the doctor was speaking with me, and I had no problem with the conversation at all. I felt very comfortable and was, you know, even some of the more technical words he was using, I understood everything. And I had a great conversation, and my ear was just fine. So he looked at my ear and gave me some medicine, and that was it. But when I finished with that, I walked back to the uh, the reception desk, so I had to check out after I was done with my appointment uh, and pay for the service. And uh, my mind, like I was standing there talking and listening, but my mind was not actually there. So I was, I don't know, maybe I began thinking about something else. Uh, again, this happens to everybody, but it happens to me a lot. So it's something I really have to focus on when I'm uh, listening to someone or really trying to give a lot of attention to the person I'm speaking with. So in that situation, I was thinking about, I don't really remember what it was, but at the end I asked them, oh, where can I, where's a close pharmacy? And I realized that they had just told me that. <laughs> so while we were standing there talking, they told me that there was a pharmacy, you know, like two doors down. And so I started laughing at myself because I uh, had listened to that and it, it basically seemed like I was ignoring them. So it wasn't that I had like a real listening problem uh, with the language. It was just more about me, myself, and again, letting my mind, my conscious mind drift away so, and again, this just happens to people from time to time, and it's just something that you need to practice on uh, if this is a problem you have. Um, so uh, my problem, again, thinking about that as a, as a native speaker speaking English, uh, I'm not nervous when I'm speaking with people, and I have no problem understanding other English speakers, so my listening problem is again, being passively distracted. So I'm listening to people, but uh, I'm not paying attention. And so other people will say, oh, what did I say or something? Uh, and I'll, you know, get low scores on tests because I can't focus. So it's really more of a, a problem of focusing on the now uh, and remembering where you are to improve your listening that way. So I just thought that was a, a really interesting example of that. And I went out and went to the pharmacy that was two doors down. And, uh, and again, I apologize to those ladies, but I had a great conversation with the pharmacist uh, in Japanese. Also, she was asking me questions about where I was from and I was talking with her about you know, why she was in that business and just interesting things like that. But I, I remember being focused in that conversation because I felt bad about not being focused in the conversation with the, uh, with the two ladies at the reception desk. Anyway, uh, so thinking about these listening problems, just to go a little bit deeper into helping you improve your listening, uh, again, the first thing is to just practice being mindful of your surroundings. And again, if that's a problem for you, like it's a problem for me, again, everybody struggles with that to some degree. So some people maybe are very good at focusing. Other people like me, their mind can drift off very easily and you'll find you're thinking about something else that's not related to what you're talking about or what you're listening to. Uh, so in that, like the, the best way to practice that is just to remind yourself to be awake. So if you think about your mind drifting away, thinking about some other subject, it's like you're being carried away like you're asleep some way. 
So people never know that moment when they fall asleep. It's like a process how you just kind of drift off to sleep. So I think about it in the same way and ask myself, am I awake right now? So learning a little bit about meditation, that seemed like a really good thing to apply to listening as well. Um, because for me, meditation, and this isn't even something I do a lot, but just the idea of trying to be present. So remembering this moment that's happening right now, uh, especially so I, I can show that to the other person I'm speaking with and that I'm really listening to them and paying attention to what they're saying. So if you can begin with just asking, am I awake? And then when you're by yourself, just listening to the world around you. So right now you might have even had, you know, a thought come into your mind while, while you're listening to this. And so reminding yourself, come back listen and so just while you're by yourself listening to the sounds that happen around you it can be cars driving by or other people speaking or anything else that you might be listening to our brains really get lots of information and our brains also stop us from consciously receiving that because if we received all the information that came into our our body like from our touch or smell or uh, our ears or our eyes uh, we would go crazy. There would be just too much information coming to us. So we have to let our minds process that information and just give us a small part of that. But if we actively try to focus on right now and stay out of our own heads, it makes it easier to understand that information. So once you do that, then you can start doing it with more people in your native language, so the other people you speak with, and then finally you would do that practicing more with English. Again, if that's more your problem, the kind of everyday being able to understand and have better conversations with people, that kind of listening improvement is uh, more about just learning the conversational speech that natives do or that, that natives use. And then when you're learning with actual examples of conversational speech, like real conversations that natives have, uh, that's the thing that will really improve your listening from the language skill standpoint. So remember to relax and, you know, if you're also the kind of person, maybe that third problem where you're actively distracting yourself, really just remember to relax when you're in a conversation and kind of forgive, you know, try to forgive yourself that you don't need to be knowing everything or that you, you don't have to know every word. Really just give the other person you're speaking with the greatest gift you can give them, which is your focus. So it doesn't matter if you're worried about your pronunciation or all these other things if you don't first understand what you're listening to. So that's really important. And so just focus on that. So be focused on the moment right now when you're in a conversation with someone and just really listen to them. And even after you've finished listening or, you know, whatever they're speaking something and you're thinking about what you want to say, if you don't you know, know a word or you didn't understand everything, it's okay to ask that person, oh, what do you mean by that? I do that all the time in Japanese and that's how I learn. So I learn the same way a child does. You know, my daughter Aria asks me questions about things. What does this word mean and why do we say that? So she asks me things like that and that's how she improves. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I really just wanted to, you know, as I was thinking about that experience in the pharmacy, I wanted to share that with you just because I know it's a common problem for myself, but also for a lot of other people. Uh, it really is a very difficult thing, and that's why even people who practice meditation and who are very serious about it, who are very mindful a lot of the time, uh, everyone's mind drifts off like that. So whether your problem is... Uh, that your mind drifts off or that you're actively talking to yourself and saying like, oh no, I'm worried about this. Uh, remember to just relax, really focus on the moment and continue to improve your, your listening skills with the actual real language that native speakers use in conversations. I hope that's been helpful. And if you'd like to learn more about that, especially improving your listening and your conversation skills, you can click on the link in the upper right of this video or on the link in the description below this video to learn about my new program, The Art of Conversation. So it really helps you uh, have uh, great conversations and become a confident speaker in the next 30 days or less so you can learn more about that and also if you just like to know more about how to improve uh, I can take uh, or you can take a, a free quiz that we have that's again also if you click on the link in the upper right of this video uh, or on the link in the description below this video you can answer a few quick questions that can tell me what your specific problem is maybe it's listening maybe it's speaking or vocabulary or feeling you know confident all of these other things 
let me know and I'll give you a free personalized guide that can help you improve your confidence in speaking. And I look forward to sending that to you. So it's again free. You can just click on the link in the upper right of this video or on the link in the description below this video to get that. And I look forward to helping you improve. It's been fantastic joining you today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.